This is code.org, CS discoveries or computer science discoveries. I'm working on unit two, which is web development, lesson six, which is lists, and level four, which apparently is named lists. Let's see what they have us working on. Unordered lists. This page should have an unordered list, but it's missing the list tags. Oh, this is somewhat similar to the last page. Do this. Use the UL and LI tags to structure the content into an unordered list like the picture below. Scotch ruse, snickerdoodle cookies, chocolate pie. Sounds like a healthy meal. Um, so now if you don't remember the exact code for that, it did tell us the tags here. UL is unordered list and an unordered list is a list with bullet points. So if you don't remember what it looks like though, or you need more info, all of these are helpful. What are the two types of lists? What is an unordered list? Blah, blah, blah. It can, it, need, it has bullet points. Each item on the list, LI, is marked by the LI tag. That's very useful. And then this is an actual example. Show me working code. So for a list, you want these UL tags for an unordered list, for a list with, well, bullet points that isn't ordered. You want UL tags all the way around everything that goes on the list. So let's start there. As this shows, we want scotcheroos, snickerdoodle cookies, and chocolate pie on our list. So here are the items. Best desserts must be the title of the list and not actually part of it. So I'm going to start our unordered list up here with our beginning tag. Beginning tag. And here's the ending tag at the end of a list. Well, our list goes until here. So I'm going to write our UL tag there. Great. Now we need to show it which items belong on this list. So it doesn't just show up as one big clump, but with bullet points. UL tag is a list with bullet points. So now we have to tell it which items are on our list. And we do that by surrounding each item with the LI tag and then close the LI tag. LI stands for list item. And look, now we have one bullet point next to Scotch Roos. If yours didn't show like this, hit refresh and save. And it should update to look like mine. And now let's do the next item. Well, our next item is snickerdoodle, snickerdoodle cookies. So we want this tag to end here. So I'm going to do this. And ta-da, there we are. That's on a line as well. I'm going to hit refresh and save. If yours didn't show, you make sure to do that as well. And finally, chocolate pie. We need it surrounded by an LI or a list item tag. LI. And ta-da. There we are. That looks good to me. We have our title. We have UL to start our unordered list. It ends way down here. Notice that the code also indented. So this shows me that, hey, all of this stuff is within our list. That's why it's all over a little bit between its two unordered list tags. If you did make a mistake, if you forgot something, remember that the code will turn pink, letting you know, hey, there's a mistake somewhere. So make sure to type carefully. And if yours appears like this, congratulations, you did it right. And we can go ahead and move on.